Mr. Speaker, today I'd just like to touch on a couple of issues involving young people or young adults in my community. At the outset, Mr. Speaker, I'd like just to indicate my huge pride in the young people and young adults in my electorate. Often young people and young adults, yeah, I think, get, get a bad run in both, both the media and often in the community discussions. Certainly the young people uh, in my electorate uh, is something which we can be proud of. And there's a couple of examples uh, I'd like to uh, provide, Mr. Mr Speaker. First of all, uh, in my, in my council area, the town of Gawler, one of my council areas, we have two young people running for local council, uh, namely Ethan White and Isaac Solomon. Uh, these two young men uh, are even younger than I was when I first entered local government at the age of 21, back in 1981. And that uh, these two young men, I think, will be an asset to the town of Gawler, should be elected next week when the elections are held for local government. Mr Speaker, sadly though, their candidacy has uh, received some feedback which I think is both uh, unfair and, and also inaccurate. Uh, their lack of you know, experience has been brought as an issue. Say, some people have made the comment, what would they know about being on a, on a council, etc. Well, what I can say, Mr Speaker, these two young men have done enormous amounts of work in the, in the community, have led enough, a number uh, number of youth groups, etc., and they have actually been involved in community leadership for much more than a lot of adults have done in their time. And so, I think these two people should be judged not by what they haven't done, but what they have done so far. And I think they'll be they'll be a, a valuable addition to the town of Gawler. In addition, Mr. S Mr. Speaker, uh, only last week I was invited to be a guest teacher at the Northern Adelaide Senior College. For a, for a lesson, um, and the le I had to give a topic about the, the pros and cons about certain social reforms, and my, my job was to speak about you know the political process and the political issues and the different way of looking at an issue, etc. And I spoke with these young people. These are uh, stage two legal studies uh, class, and I must and I must say I was incredibly proud of this group. They were quite attentive, very uh, asked a lot of questions. And so they were actually thinking about the issues I raised, and we had a quite a good discussion. Sorry? Uh, well, it wasn't the, my, the purpose of my discussion wasn't to say this is the way you need to think. These are the issues you need to think about. That's what a good teacher does. And so I did that. Uh, so it wasn't, like I said, my aim wasn't to, to predispose them to a particular view, but to say these are the issues you need to think about. Very few social issues are black and white. There's a lot of grey and different views. And one has to be respectful of that. And so they were. Uh, and I, I think I did a reasonable job in, in, in what I did. Um, I'm not sure I made out to be a teacher, but certainly uh, it was really, really, uh, really good the way these young people thought about the issues and asked the questions and very attentive. Mr Speaker, one of the things we often hear is that, you know, things that young people do or do not think about. And it's interesting to say, interesting that on International Youth Day, on the 12th of August this year, I actually uh, held a, ran a survey amongst five colleges in my electorate. Uh, and the five colleges were the Northern Adelaide Senior College, uh, Mark Oliphant College, uh, uh, Gorlin District College, Trinity College and Xavier College, both government and non-government schools across my electorate and region. And the purpose of the survey was to find out what do young people actually think in, in my community, think about in my community. I've been told what they think about, but I thought I'd ask you ask them. And it was interesting to note, when you ask them about what they think about certain issues, and you break up the issues into personal issues, um, if you like, community issues, and also international issues, in terms of personal issues, uh, the, the students are, the main, main concern for them was actually cost of living. These are the things that young people are concerned about, cost of living issues, uh, and that doesn't surprise me. A lot of them work and also try to have a car, etc., etc. On community issues, biggest issue for them was the urban built form. In other words, the communities they live in, in terms of infrastructure and the appearance of their communities. And the global issues, uh, the biggest issues were about climate change, but also about concerns about. Uh, uh, safety and conflicts in the, in, the, in the world today. So, Mr Speaker, when you think about it, these young people don't think 
too much different from adults, what are the issues which worry adults these days. And it's great to see that young people think about issues which affect the community generally rather than just themselves. I'm very proud of the young people in my electorate, Mr Speaker. The Leader. Thank you, Mr.